Hello, hello, hello. Why, why, why? Because, 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 because. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I understand this is a slightly unusual circumstance to have your teacher stand up and sing in front of you. Uh, but there's a reason for that. Um, the particular piece that we were studying, uh, Grapes of Wrath, uh, talks about the Dust Bowl, talks about the 30s and the Depression. Uh, you saw The Thin Man, and The Thin Man was also about the Depression and the impact that uh, hard times have on different levels of people. Um, in The Grapes of Wrath, you get to see the Dust Bowl. Uh, of course, the Jodes were imaginary people. They were made up by Steinbeck, but they were a depiction of people that Woody knew and saw. Um, he had actually traveled with some uh, folks from the Midwest on their journey out to California, and had this experience, came out himself from Oklahoma in the late 30s, and actually became, he was a singer-songwriter at the time, and he became a, like kind of a local radio figure. That's how I heard about him, uh, because my father was a big fan, and so when I was very little, um, we had a little 10-inch record on Stimson Records, the record that's a little, kind of black disc, <laughs> you may not know those anymore. Um, there was something cool about being able to get that thing. Uh, you still have CDs, but now, you know, 80% of people just download stuff. So you don't get that thing in hand. You don't get the, the paper that has all the information. And they figured because nobody cares. But for me, it was significant. Um, I actually learned to read from the back of Woody Guthrie's album because he had these songs and the words were on the back. And when I was like three years old, I, I figured out that what those little squiggles said were what he was singing. And so I, by the time I got to school, I already knew how to read because Woody taught me. Uh, Library of Congress described him as our best contemporary ballad composer. And when Woody put out his first Ash record album in 1944, John Steinbeck wrote the introduction. So Steinbeck actually wrote on his album the introduction to Woody, and it said, Woody is just Woody. Thousands of people do not know he has any other name. He's just a voice and a guitar. He sings the songs of a people, and I suspect that he is, in a way, that people. Harsh-voiced and nasal, his guitar banging like a tire iron on a rusty rim, there is nothing sweet about Woody. There is nothing sweet about the songs he sings. But there is something more important for those who will listen. There is the will of a people to endure and fight against oppression. That's Steinbeck's homage to Woody Guthrie.